Today is day 549 of the coronavirus lockdown. Great news, there are other people out there, and I know because my previous video had 24 views, and I only watched it four times. Also, for the first time in months, I got a reply post on Facebook from a cousin who says she was living underground with a group of people. An entire group. Can you believe that? The joy that overcame me when I found these two things out was so immense. I totally forgot about being hungry for at least 33 and a half seconds. The interaction was immense for a few minutes, and then I remembered I used to hate people, you know, before all of this happened. I'm still on the fence how I feel now that I'm not the only one left, but overall, I am sure it will be great for humanity this, to someday rebuild once this stupid virus is defeated. The weather was actually nice for the first time in a long time yesterday, although there was little rain as the sun was setting. I was able to get all my devices charged using the solar panel. I also found a single dandelion this morning. My stomach growled, but instead of eating it, I just laid on the ground staring at it. I couldn't figure out if I wanted to waste the time to dig it up for the roots and all for coffee, or to eat the few calories it would provide. Instead, I left it there in hopes there will be others soon. I made my way over to the same white pine tree that I've been using from day one and instead pulled a handful of pine needles off to make a cup of tea that is super high in antioxidants and vitamin C. I still take my vitamins D3, K2, and turmeric like I told everyone in the beginning. I didn't want this to be so long, but I wanted to read what my cousin told me about her underground life with a group of people. I guess it's a good reflection of what the world is like now for the survivors. She said, Those people are my family now. We take turns going outside, we're underground by the way, to search for clean water and food. They have guards everywhere in full gear, gas masks and suited up. They're constantly spraying chemicals on what little grass remains. We're allowed to go out, but we're not allowed mask, and we're not allowed to touch or walk on the grass. They have finally accepted the Earth's magnetic field as a free source of transportation. The wealthy are protected and drive cars that kind of look like a bubble, and they glide over the Earth, levitating, so to speak, using the magnetic field to travel. This is the new world now. We're actually okay, though. We stuck together and have created our own growing system of food. I do miss smoking cigarettes, but you know, the craving never goes away. Anyway, I'm sorry I can't share our location, but if all you have is a marshmallow PM me, we'll arrange a secret location to meet up where you'll need to go through many tests like we went through. And if your system is clean, you'll be welcomed in. It's not much, but it's safe. Good luck and remain strong, cousin. I can say it's in a city and everything had completely changed in the last 18 months. So, uh, if that's the way the world is, I think I'm going to stay where I'm at.